So my involvement in anarchist activities has taken three different forms, I'd say, in my life. In the, when I was living in, in the Phoenix area, when I was you know, in, in my teens and early 20s, most of the anarchist stuff I did was involved in, was, uh, involved in, in punk rock and uh, animal rights and environmental, uh, environmental stuff. Then when I moved to Minneapolis uh, in the early 90s, I was, I, I was involved in uh, various anarchist organizations, anti-racist action. We, did, we had an info shop called the Emma Center. We were in a group called the Twin Cities Anarchist Federation. And I worked on a, a punk rock, anarchist punk rock uh, fans in cultural fan existence. And, and I also joined Love and Rage at that time. Uh, so I was interested in, in Minneapolis, I was interested in being in organizations that were anarchist organizations. But then when I moved back to Phoenix, and then later to Flagstaff in the mid '90s, I was I became I was less interested in being in specifically anarchist organizations. Instead, I was interested in what kinds of political work can I do, given my limited amount of time and money and energy I can put into things. Where can I be the most effective in bringing about a free society? And so, that, at that point, anarchism became less uh, an objective in terms of I want to be in an anarchist group as a set of principles to help guide me to say what are the best kinds of activities that uh, the best kind of organizations and, and activities I can be involved in that will, will bring down this rotten society and build a free one. And so, I, so from there I, I worked uh, in a group called uh, Start Some Cop Watches and right now I'm involved in a group called Repeal Coalition that seeks the repeal of all anti-immigrant legislation in the state of Arizona. Uh, a demand that we believe that the state and capital fundamentally cannot uh, cannot handle. They can handle goods and services crossing borders, but they can't handle workers crossing borders. And then I'm also part of a cadre organization called Bring the Ruckus, which is not specifically anarchist. Uh, we have a set of principles that we uh, people believe in and accept, but uh, whether you are an anarchist or a Marxist or is, is not so interesting to us. And I think, frankly, it's not that interesting a question here in the states anymore. Anyway, the, the old divisions between anarchists and Marxists. If they ever were relevant, I think are not so relevant.